scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. In the traditions of men, we never do things because they are the popular things to be done. Praise the Lord. I want you to know that the giving of prophetic words um, it's not just some kind of um, church thing by leaders, you know, to be able to, let's say, our church or our ministry has this and that. No. It's, it's a communication of God's intent for a people and a territory. Hallelujah. To the end that when they understand God's program and the way he's working. Now, I've had a lot of people in a bid to balance the abuse of prophetic words have condemned everything and said there's no need for prophetic words. When you understand, you see, that, that is the reason why it is important for us to understand the operation of the kingdom. Hallelujah. The operation of the kingdom defines the scope of the way God does his things. When you know God and you understand the system of the kingdom, then you will know why certain things are necessary. Praise the Lord. If you try to just copy, you may not be able to communicate the light that comes from that revelation. But when it is born out of a depth of understanding, then you will be able to guide people and they will receive breakthroughs in their lives. Are you following me now? And, and the Bible says God made many stars. Have you read that in Genesis? Right? And part of the ministry of those stars is that as the constellations over the earth, they are supposed to help men understand signs and seasons. Praise the Lord. Is that all the volume, please? Um, so if you understand that God made constellations to guide us into understanding times and seasons, that should tell you that the program of God is very specific and very seasonal. Are you getting my point? God does not just do anything, anytime. No, no, not at all. Although he dwells in the realm of eternity, right? When it comes to operating the principles of his kingdom here on earth, he subscribed to times and seasons. And so when the prophet will speak to the woman, he say, according to the time of life. Hallelujah. The Bible says, he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit. When? In season. So there is a season. Praise the Lord. And it is important. One of the many things that happens when a season comes is that the graces, the mantles, the understandings and the, the communications of the spirit that will guide people into walking in sync with the program of God for that season is communicated to them. And let me tell you something. The hallmark of the apostolic ministry is not signs and wonders. You see, the apostolic ministry is a dispensational ministry. The true proof of an apostolic ministry is the ability to, number one, understand seasons. Number two, understand the communications and the revelation that is released to guide men into exploring that season. 
And then number three, to sustain the utterance in the spirit to interpret those mysteries so that the people of God can both understand, receive, and walk in light of what God is doing. Are you following me now? And so, we must be able to understand. The Bible says, wise men, they looked at the stars and suddenly they found out that one star was bright. And they knew it was not just a coincidence. Are you following me now? And on the strength of that spiritual advantage, they began to explore. And it took them around a manger. And so prophetic words are not just um, words that must happen January to December. And again, I've had a lot of people talk about January to December and say that it is not, maybe it doesn't make any spiritual sense. You see, when I hear talks like this, I, I don't feel bad for the people that communicate these things. It's only an expression of our deficiency of understanding spiritual things. Because if your journey to explore God starts from the Old Testament, you are lagging behind seriously. Your understanding of God must predate the Old Testament. So that it gives you an opportunity to see the consistency of his character through many dispensations. The word eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations. Are you following me now? And so it means that our dispensation is only in the middle of many dispensations that have gone before us and many to come after us. Is that true? But then the Bible gives us a picture of the consistency of the operation of the kingdom in the midst of these dispensations. For instance, there was a dispensation where the one we call Satan or Lucifer did not exist. Did you know that? Is that true? There was a dispensation where the earth was not a factor. Is that true? When you read the communications of Job, when he invoked God in chapter 38, he said, guard up thy loins as, as, a, as a man and I will demand of thee. He said, where was thou when I founded the earth? Tell me if you know. Were you there when I laid its foundation? When I put the cornerstone? He said, when the morning stars sang together and the sons of God rejoiced. So you see that the concept of sons of God is not a New Testament concept. Our understanding about God and the kingdom must predate Genesis 1, predate Old Testament. So that it no longer becomes just an argument between Old Testament and New Testament. You are exploring the consistency of a being that has manipulated things according to his wisdom from infinite dispensations past. The earth, as we know, our dispensation is barely six or 7,000 years. But we carbon date rocks and we see that some are as far as 50,000 years. Is that true? That means there is an old story. And if we do not understand this operation of God, we will find ourselves violating his system. And part of my personal pursuit during my retreat, I was telling the Lord that one of the things that I trust that God will use me to bring to this house is accuracy of alignment. That we will truly gain mastery in the understanding of the principles of the kingdom. And then it will make us to reign truly and experientially. And so the prophetic word is God's program of guidance for, for ministries, for territories. It's important for us to understand the language of God. He speaks um, dimensionally. In fact, he acts dimensionally. It is the dimensional character of God that gave birth to his names. All the names of God represent dimensions. And they, they also represent progressions of understanding him. So every dispensation is supposed to give God a name. And that name represents the scope of their experience with him. The names of God as we know so far represent his dealings and his revelations, the unveilings of himself across many dispensations. So while we lean on the strength of those revelations to gain access to who he really is, there is a lot more that he wants to reveal to us. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 before we come to Hosea. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, we thank you for light. We thank you for light. Thank you for light.
Genesis 1 verse 26 and God said let us make man in our own image and after our likeness and let them have dominion upon over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth 27 so God created man in his own image in the image of God created he him male and female created he them hallelujah Genesis chapter 2 from verse 7 please I'm just trying to establish a few things that will lead us to understanding the theme and then we'll pray are we there verse 7 okay it's projected I think many of us can follow as many as possible and the Lord God did what formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul there's something i want to pick out here when the bible says god formed man from the dust of the earth now adam was not just the name of that man hallelujah when the bible says god formed man that the name of that formation itself is adam are you getting my point now now he said god made man from the earth the dust of the earth now there is a mystery there that i want you to understand it doesn't just mean god use clay to make man are you getting what i'm saying because according to ecology as we know right you will not be able to dwell in a system if you cannot relate with that environment is that true so god made the spirit of man but when it comes it, it, it came to forming the body of man. The Bible says God made man, Adam. What, what it meant was that God used the raw materials of the system to fabricate the body of man. Are you getting my point? So that it will grant him the opportunity to be able to relate freely in this realm. The biological components of man, the psychological components of man were created from the materials within his environment. Are you following me now? Praise the Lord. So that there is a consistent interaction between the man, Adam, and the environment. And five elements work together to create man. Number one, light. Number two, wind. Number three, water. Number four, earth. Just follow me. What's number one? Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five, sound. Please just follow me. I want to establish something. Open our eyes in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, these five elements, as we know, look up, please. They are the five elements that govern the interaction of man and his system. Are you following me now? Light, the earth, the food that we eat comes from where? Is that true? The water we drink, without water, you know that we will die. Meaning there is a relationship between the waters and the body of man. Is that true, please? The light, sunlight as we know. You know that without light there is no life. Is that true? And then sound. Sound. Physics has gone so far to tell us a lot of the implication of sound. It has been established that we live in a planet that is governed by sound. Sound. Hallelujah. Business people have postulated theories to be able to let us know that your thoughts produce sound. That your life produces sound. And it takes sound to be able to communicate and all of that. You are listening to me upon the strength of sound. We all know this just to be physics. But I am telling you that all these elements were not of this realm. They were imported to help man become compatible. Just follow me. This is the reason why 
the description of the Holy Spirit in the Bible has been in the similitude of these elements. Are you getting what I'm saying now? And so when the Bible says God made man, what it means is that in the making of this body called Adam, these elements are found. That's why we drink water. Is that true? That's why we need light to see. You cannot see in darkness. You need light to see. You need sound to hear and do a lot of other things. We need the earth to be able to plant our crops. Mysteries. You open the ground and throw a seed and close it. And don't supervise it. You don't need a remote control. Something begins to happen that we cannot explain. Brothers and sisters, imagine the mystery of this earth. Is it living? You throw a seed. The earth has the resurrection power in it. You throw a seed and the Bible tells us that that seed dies. The earth without prayer brings it back to life. I'm showing you the elements of creation. Without prayer, no man can manipulate the earth. No matter your fight, you cannot be angry with the earth. Because it is spiritual. Number two, fire. Or light. Let's just call it light. Really. But you can put light stroke fire. You cannot box light or box fire. You cannot monopolize it. You cannot do anything. It's an entity that is strange. It is not scared of anything. Yet it threatens everything. Spiritual elements. Number three, water. A great mystery great mystery you can't hold it yet it has weight heavier than anything mysteries that surround our world that many of us may never get to really understand and appreciate we see it all the time what is the relationship between your body and water brothers and sisters animals take water plants take water Hallelujah. Meet a man who is dying of thirst. Give him water and he's rejuvenated. What does it do to him? It's more than biology. It's more than biology. Hallelujah. And then another mystery is even how the rain falls. Hallelujah. That vapor rises without the eyes of man seeing condenses in the atmosphere purest form by itself distills itself and begins to empty itself upon the earth mysteries that surround our world and the bible says man was made of these elements meaning if you corrupt any of these elements it will translate into the corruption of man are you getting what i'm saying you now see the reason why demonic spirits use these five elements for their operation. Satan is called the prince of the power of what? That's wind. Is that true? We see the Holy Spirit manifesting as the wind. We see the Holy Spirit manifesting as water. We see the Holy Spirit manifesting as light or fire. Now, I, I'm just helping you to appreciate the fact that it's not just that we, we stumbled across these things and we found them being used in scripture. They are, in, they are not the only elements. Are you following me now? It is only because they are the elements that are important for the existence and the functionality of man. There are many other elements. But we know those five. Just like we have five senses. Is that true? But those are not the only senses. Now I know that people have taught great men like Papa Hagen and the rest. They've written books and they've said we also have spiritual, five spiritual senses. Of course you can look at the level and the, the, the dispensation with which he wrote those revelations. But now we know better. It cannot be that there are five senses. There are senses as infinite as the wisdom of God. That's why you can receive certain communications of the spirit that you cannot explain physically because the, the equivalent sense to help you interpret it is deficient. Are you getting what I'm saying now? God made man to interact with these things. So when I drink water, when I walk with the earth, 
when I take advantage of the illumination from light, right? And I, 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 I walk with these elements. They sustain my health. They sustain my vitality. And they help me to function in the earth. And it so happens that these elements, because they were imported from the spirit, when the Holy Ghost begins to function with this man, Adam, he also comes in the similitude of these elements. Are you getting what I'm saying? So he can manifest as light or fire. When he manifests as fire, it's a revelation of his dimension to be able to achieve certain things. When he manifests as wind or sound, he says that I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. Acts chapter 2, when the Holy Ghost was coming, a mighty sound, a rushing wind, right? And so we see these operations of the Spirit. The prophet said, O wind, breathe upon this slain. And the Bible says the wind came and entered them. And suddenly, the flesh, the sinews that came, came from the earth. It, I will cause sinews to come and cover the bones. Are you following me now? And so the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is in the similitude of these elements. That's why when you go to a herbalist, he will still use these five elements to concoct everything because he's working with man. Is that true? When you go, I've, I've, I've taught us already, but then let me just share it. The principle of reflection, we call it, that everything in creation should reflect its maker. Is that true? And because man... Is the hallmark of God's creation. Everything in creation should be reflected in man. Is that true? And so I told you that the eyes of man was made from what? Water. Right? The similitude of vision. The same way that you go to a herbalist and it does incantations on water. And suddenly that water becomes an eye. And he starts seeing through it. Right? I told you that the hair of man was made in the similitude of grass. Is that true? That's why you can barb it and everything, you know, that similitude. The veins of man were made in the similitude of roots of plants. Is that true? The bones of man was made in the similitude of stones. That's why they can stay long even after, just like the stones. Are you getting what I'm saying? The body of man, this flesh was made from the earth. That's why it is compatible with the earth. When men die, where do we bury them? Not in the sky. We don't just hang them somewhere in the sky. Is that true? We bury them. He said, for thus thou art, and to thus thou shalt return. Is that true? That means you are dust. So when the Holy Spirit begins to function, he functions in these dimensions. Watch this. Notice the coexistence of wind, light, water, and all of this to keep you alive. Can you choose water and say there's no need for light? Is that true? You need all of these dimensions. Now, that's how it is spiritually. Every season, because rea realize that God is building another spiritual man. Is that true? He says, we all as living stones. There is a spiritual house God is attempting to build. And the name of that house, when completed, is called the bride of Christ. In her perfection. God is walking molding he said my little children of whom i travel until christ be formed in you like an architect trying to build a mystery using the bride to make a bride that bride that is spotless and so based on that creation god is using us and forming every element that needs to be in us so that as a church we can be presented as that apostolic bride Are you following me tonight? So the Holy Spirit reveals himself in different dimensions after the similitude of these elements of creation. And every one of his dimensions comes to initiate an understanding about God and to initiate a certain kind of function. Just like water. 
Water does not just do what light does. Water does not just do what wind does. But without wind, water cannot move. Is that true? There's, there is a coexistence. When I began to seek the Lord this year for the prophetic word, he said, I will reveal myself to my people as the rain. The rain. Not just water. The rain. That caught my attention. For me, I was very, very excited. Very, very excited. Because I know a bit about water. And I, I have studied a bit. But when the Lord began to give me that word, I braced up. I was excited I received it into my spirit and very briefly I will just share with you certain things that will help us to align with the prophetic word of God. Hosea chapter 6 please from verse 1 to 3. Hosea chapter 6. Come and let us return unto the Lord for he hath torn and he will heal us. He had smitten and he will bind us up. Verse 2. After two days he will revive us. In the third day he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. Verse 3. I want us to read it together. One to read. And he shall come to us as how? Hold on. He said, and he shall come to us. Meaning, this is how he has chosen to reveal himself. To make himself manifest in the midst of his people. Not a rain. He says, and he shall come to us as the rain. A combination of the former rain and the latter rain. Now, I don't want to go into the whole theology of the arguments about former rain. Um latter rain and all of that that's not our point of interest tonight but it's just for us to know that God wants to come and manifest himself this year 2015 as the rain the rain the rain what then is this rain very quickly what is the rain really I wrote a few things here and I'll just read them out so that we can have some notes the rain is a dimension of the outpouring of the spirit the rain is a dimension of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon people and territories that is responsible for activating certain spiritual realities. The rain is a dimension of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon people and upon territories responsible for activating certain spiritual realities there are different spiritual realities because every dimension of the holy spirit helps you to access certain dimensions hallelujah when the holy spirit is revealed as fire there is a dimension of him that we can access on the strength of that revelation when he's revealed as rain or water or dew or whatever it is in that similitude when the holy spirit is revealed as oil when he's revealed as a dove, when he's revealed as all of these things, they all attempt to communicate certain dimensions of his operation and dimensions that can be accessible. Hallelujah. There are seven, seven dimensions or expectations I want us to have as the Holy Spirit reveals himself as the rain. Seven things happen in the life of any man and any territory when the Holy Spirit is permitted to reveal himself as the rain. We'll just run through it very quickly. Number one, when the Holy Spirit reveals himself to a people as the rain, there is an unusual dimension of soul winning. Unusual dimension of soul winning because harvest is tied to rain. Harvest is tied to rain. Hmm. Harvest is always tied to rain. He said in Isaiah chapter 32 from verse 15, he says, until the spirit be poured upon us. So he uses the language of the rain. 
until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine and then that vine will multiply and become a forest so one of the things that happens to a people or a territory when the Holy Ghost begins to manifest as the rain is that there are unusual dimensions of soul winning and transformations. Transformation. We had our brother who came here and shared how that he had never seen me. I don't know how, how probably without exaggeration, thousands of people who say, I have never seen you. Most people outside of this circle have seen me in either dreams or visions. You see that? The rain. Unusual dimension of soul winning. And so that's one of the things we expect to see this year. That there will be unusual dimensions. That rain will pour on people. You see, when the rain begins to pour, it does not select who to fall. Is that true? When it falls, it falls upon everyone and you must carry a trace of it. It will wet anybody, it will wet any car. That's the dimension of the spirit. So he will fall on unusual people. He will fall on business people. He will fall on students. He will fall on workers, unbelievers. Had, you will see hardened criminals come to Christ. People who vowed by themselves, God forbid, over my dead body to be born again. You will see them come mysteriously and then you will know that the rain fell on them. Hallelujah. People who hitherto have refused to accept Jesus Christ. You will argue with them. They will say, look, if, if Jesus is real, why are pastors this? You know, all those, all those arguments they bring. You will see them walk in dimensions. I tell you, you Three o'clock, you will see them come to stand at Koinonia. Shaking, they cannot explain what brought them. The moment you see that, know that it is the rain. Because every time a rain will fall, you will see clouds. There is a sign. There is a rain. And that rain will fall. It will bring... I'm not talking of salvation of one leg here today and two legs out. You say, I had it. No, 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 no. Genuine that all your legs will be stationed and established in the kingdom. That's why I said so winning and transformation. You know, I've questioned a lot of what people call born again. Right? If you truly meet with this rain, there must be transformation. Hallelujah. All of those kinds of what I used to do before, I'm still doing it again after 10 years. I'm, you did not meet with the Holy Spirit. If you truly meet with the Spirit of the living God, the spirit of the living. A donkey met with him and started talking. No rehearsals. Look, let me tell you. If the Holy Ghost meets with you, something must change. He has nothing to do with whether you have faith or not. There is an imprint. When rain comes, it does not ask you what kind of material. You live and there is an evidence. Have you seen rain come and then there is a nice lady who is wearing, um, what they call it, those you people's dangerous shoes. That, that is pointed, you know, and she's trying to just run. The rain is whipping her, no regard for whatever she, whether it's with one or your natural hair or whatever hair, whether rain just comes. Lord, send that avalanche. We are tired of discussing with certain family members that will not change. In this season of the rain, Malakato Labayabada. The moment he's kicking the car, the car will not kick again. And the only, he can't open the door and he will hear a voice. And he will say, how long will you keep running away from me? Personal salvation. Genuine personal salvation. I want you to believe. Look, let me tell you, there are seven things. This is number one, but this is major. Every one of us must participate. Cooperating with this rain. Because when, when rain falls, there are certain people who can... How many of you have seen rain fall and then some people bend their zinc strategically to make sure that water enters some vessels? That's how some of us will be. You will say, this rain is almost reaching my uncle. Oh Lord, where is that zinc? You must tilt it to touch him. Oh no, look, let me tell you. There will be massive salvation this year. 
It's called anakazo. A compelling evangelism. Not, not too much of drama and they're asking you, did you quote it correctly? Do you know that? That means you are not a serious believer. And then what would have been a, a simple encounter becomes three hours of foolish argument. The Bible calls it vain talk. Right? You keep arguing whether is this and that. Should this person do this? Does your church do this? When the rain comes. When the rain comes. Some of you, all you will need to tell somebody is come. Jesus looked at them and said, come. No argument. That's how they got up. Because that rain comes with it a dimension of the spirit. Do you believe that? Number two. Halabaka ta ta ta. When the rain comes, we will experience increased dimension of love for God and passion for spiritual things. Listen to me. Every time rainy season comes, it supplies energy upon the farmer to go to the farm. Is that true? When he sees the rain, he's excited. When the rain falls, every one of us, every one of us, must fall in love with God. It comes, it's a dimension of the Holy Spirit that all of a sudden makes Jesus become a priority in your life. So, it's not just the issue of being fanatical. He emphasizes the priority of the things of the kingdom, the house of God, evangelism, prayer, your, your passion for spiritual things come alive. Jesus must become a priority in our lives this year. Not an option. Many of us love the Lord, but there are many distractions. Jesus is not a priority to many of us. But this year, this season of the rain. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Let me tell you one of the things that the rain does. The rain washes away filth. There are many things that have covered our eyes and our lives that would stop. Some of us love God, but there is a devil seated on our face called our mouth that will not allow us to serve God well. Are you getting what I'm saying? Your spirit wants to serve God, but your mouth, this mouth is, is, is an empire, is Babylon seated on your face. And if you don't tame it, let the rain wash away that thing, that feeling. There are many of us, our lives, this is the year when you say, Lord, let this rain come. Passion. During my retreat, I said, Lord, I really want to love you. I don't want to fake it. I know that I love you. You know, people send me a text and say, may God give me one tenth of your love for God. I said, really? You've not seen anything yet. Madly in love. For some of you, may God give you the kind of love you have for women. May God convert it to be love for him. In the name of Jesus Christ. In 2015, may it happen. No, we're here to enforce it tonight. Because, see, the way many of us love things that are not God. Money. Reputation. Women, men, intellect. Now, I'm not against all of those things, but I am telling you, remember, part of the things we do here is to make sure we strangle every idol to death. There is only one that deserves our praise. We will lay down our idols and thrones we have made. And all that has taken my heart, Lord, I will bow. I will bow to you, to no other God but you. Listen, can I tell you one strategy of the devil? One strategy of the devil to to filter or draw away our love and passion for God is activities. Say activities. That was the strategy Pharaoh used. 
when Moses was coming to connect them back to God, Pharaoh said, ah, it's because you are free. I've not occupied you enough. That's why you even have time to consider an exodus. He said, occupy them. What I was giving them free, let them look for it. And that's one thing that the devil is using to destroy our generation. Ask an average young man, why are you busy like this? Four o'clock, you are awake. Sorry, I don't have time. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Lord, I thank you. You are, I mean, if you were not alive, I wouldn't have woken up. Now that I'm awake, I really thank you. And you're on your way moving. We are on the go. We have fast food. If you are hungry, enter quickly. Five minutes, you are out. This kind of life will never produce passionate people. There must come a time in your life where you must define who is worth your time. Ha! You've won my heart, oh God. You've won my heart. Don't let Nigeria fool you. You are not the first to be successful. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Ask Abraham. Ask Isaac. Ask Solomon. These were men who pursued God. But with that pursuit, they were successful. Take away that useless theology that the devil has given Nigerians. That if you don't get up and hustle and push, if one door closes, force another one to open. What do we call it? Hustling. In this year of the rain, May God help you to know what matters. You have only 24 hours. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I hunger and thirst for you In a dry and weary land All I want is you There are many of us, we don't care about the house of God. The, the house of God come for koinonia. Eh, oh yeah, let me just drag myself and come, you know. And you come and you are waiting for everybody to tell you thank you. This is the year you tell that devil if you if you took advantage of my life in 2014. In this year, I mean business with God. Hallelujah. This is the year to throw away that small jotter that fire has burned half of it and buy a good hardcover exercise book and say, Lord, I mean business. Look, let me tell you, brothers and sisters. It says, after two days, he will revive us. And on the third day, he will raise us up. This was my cry during the retreat. I said, Lord, I don't love you enough. I searched my life to find out all the things that are still in the remaining time. And I said, Lord, I will give you time more. Because intimacy is a function of time. It's not just about quoting koinonia. Intimacy is highly time dependent. For the more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. Spend time. In this season of the rain, many of you, let me tell you, you will find out 4 o'clock, 4.30, the Holy Ghost will wake you. Mm, sleep goes away. No matter the tiredness, you know that is the season of the rain. And you get up and play worship songs. I want more of you. Some of you, this season of the rain will take you back to what you used to do that brought grace upon your life. That you have thrown away. There are some of us here, especially the ladies, you know what you used to do. When it was not the issue of men. Huh? When it was not the issue of beauty. Before you rediscovered yourself. That depth of passion. Some of us don't wake up in the morning again. You sleep by 8 o'clock. You wake up by 9 o'clock. Spiritual carelessness. You don't care. You don't pray for two weeks. It's none of your business. You check the way you drop your note on your Bible. Last Koinonia Friday. That's how you pick it next Koinonia. Just say, Lord, I thank you speak to me. Look, it must change in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be passion. Passion. Some of us were lied to our roommates. Right now, they are the ones advising you. Huh? Look at how spiritual drought came and stole your fervence. But no more. I said no more. In this season of the rain, Ah, 
ah, cold. It's too cold. I can't serve God. Or the trouser I wanted to wear is not there. I wore blue last week, blue this week. I can't go for koinonia. You are not serious. When this rain pours on you, you will pick up that trouser and wear. And say, whether, whether it's blue or black, I want more of you. Priorities that will change. Your priorities must change. You went to make your hair, they made half, they've not made the other half, carry cap and cover it, come for coin. See, ask people and know the silly reasons why they refuse to come to the house of God. Very silly reasons. Someone say, I don't have transport. But let the guy say, oh yeah, come, let's talk. You, you, there is energy. Or, well, or the lady says, okay, I'm waiting for you at 90s. See, the guy say, I'm coming. When he was talking, it was around dark, but you will be walking. Lord, I receive strength. I cover ground. And you cannot come to the house of God. In this year, 2015, may God give us passion. Oh, let, let this rain come. And let people see the difference between them and God in your life. Are you getting my point? Let the guy know you love him, but when he comes to God, he is truly secondary. Without apology. What, if you put anything and God, don't even ask me which one. Anything that is not God has lost, including myself. If I'm secondary to God, what makes you think you will be primary? More of you. More of you. More of you, Jesus. More sing more of you. you. More of sing more of you. you. It's called an awakening. The Bible says, Awake thou that sleepest, and Christ will give you light. Please, you need to talk to your neighbor. Say, wake up this year. Reignite your passion for God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sit down five minutes prayer. Oh Lord, I thank you. No, 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 no. You have to give God time. You have to give God time. Say, I will give God time. He will become a priority in my life. Yes. Nothing else matters. Look, let me tell you something. I was talking with my auntie. She lost her, her son, eldest son. The one who would, you know, be the next of kin. And when I went to her, um, when she had I was in ministry, in her mind she said, ah, this young man. According to her, said this young man, so intelligent. You mean that's what you really want to do with your life? You know, people make it look like, ah, you mean this is it? Now, but when her son died, when I went to her, she said, if I knew, I would have served God like you in the days of my youth. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Whether you believe in immortality or not, we are not going to be here forever. Just settle that in your mind. Is that true? Jesus said, I must walk the walks of him. Five minutes without breathing, nobody will ask you all the PhDs you got. Are you aware of that? Nobody will ask you what your CGPA was. Please, let me remind you. Nobody will ask you whether you, you got married or not. As important as these things are, if you have not sat down to think about them, I want you to know that there is only one thing that will matter at the end of your life. We used to sing a song um, when I was in secondary school. One Anglican song, only remembered for what we have done. You know the song? Very powerful song. So by and large, hear me. If you keep distracting yourself and not giving God time. Everything that you are giving time for now. Will it secure your eternity? That's the question. 
You are giving your whole life to a man, yet you cannot give God. A man you cannot trust. A man who can come and say, I've changed my mind. Kai, I've changed my mind. A, a, a lady who can come and say, you know, the only constant thing in life is change. Yet you say, I give you my all. You even say it happily. Please don't laugh. I came with the fire from my retreat. Make sure you are not just laughing carelessly. I'm communicating something very serious. Passion. That you must not come for koinonia for people to see the passion. People will look at Morgan and say, what is this? This fire you have. Why is it just God all the way? God in lecture theater, God everywhere. Are you this fanatical? Absolutely. Absolutely. He said, if you are ashamed of me before men, listen, if you are ashamed of me, I've seen people die, brothers and sisters. I've had the privilege to to, to go and minister to bereaved families. I've prayed for people in hospitals. I have seen in my little life the vanity of life. That's not to make you not to get up, but I know that I plan to spend my life on what matters. That at the end of my life, when I stand before him, let me carry mantles of souls and say, Lord, I spent my life I spent my life to the last serving you. One general that we honor forever, Dr. Miles Munro, a man who cheated death left and right, front and back. There are men who have cheated death. This year, please let there be an awakening. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. For some of us, it is to return to your first love. Ha! Ah. Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. I'm crying out. Light the fire. Lord, don't let my life go cold. Let me not be busy doing ministry and forget my relationship with God. Let me not be busy doing ministry, ministering, traveling around, and everybody is shouting, Apostle Joshua Selman, whereas my personal intimacy with God is faulty. See, let me tell you, men can clap for you, but this is the year you say, Lord, I want to be genuine. I'm tired of pretense. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm tired of people looking at me like a Christian, thinking that I love God, walking based on yesterday's anointing, yesterday's oil, walking based on the applause of yesterday, whereas my today is faulty. Number three, when the rain falls, it brings unusual access into the mysteries and the operations of the kingdom. This is one of the things that we are going to be experiencing in this year of the rain. Unusual access into the mysteries and the operations of the kingdom. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Please media you help us. We have to really be fast. Deuteronomy 32 verse 1 and 2. Let me show you a scripture. Malakata. Deuteronomy 32. Okay, let's just watch. Okay. It says, Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Verse 2. Read together. How? My doctrine, my mysteries. I will give you certain revelations and it will come in the similitude of the rain. It will, it will be an avalanche. It will come in abundance. Hallelujah. My secrets, my mysteries will come upon you as the rain. No matter how the drizzle is, if you channel it well, it can fill buckets. 
he says, my doctrine shall drop. He said, my speech shall distill as the dew. High. Abundance. Some of you will open Genesis and you'll be reading Genesis for months because you will see things there that you never saw. And God said, that will be the revelation you'll be exploring for two weeks. And God said, a sound planet that it moves with words. And God said, My doctrine, my mysteries will fall upon Koinonia like rain. Ah. So that you will begin to see the puzzles joined together. That these are the keys. These are the operations of the spirit that activate certain dimension of kingdom realities. Brothers and sisters, hear me. The Bible says it has been given unto us to know. The word know is the word intercourse. The same word like a man knowing his wife. It has been given unto us to intercourse. That's the word epignosis. A state where you know a thing by becoming that thing. Not just by hearing about it. It's an operation that only exists in the spirit. So in the spirit, if I want to know how this speaker is, I will have a feeling of becoming it. Accurate knowledge. My doctrine shall come upon you like the dew. So that many things we have believed that are confusing us and stopping us from experiencing the reality of God. When there is an avalanche of access to the mysteries of God. Some of you will begin to find out what is responsible for the tragedies and the operation of darkness in our families. And you will know what to do. He said Jesus himself knew what to do. This year may you know what to do. Because in the kingdom we arise and we shine when light comes. We reign upon the strength of light. Not when your light is available, when it comes. When it comes. He said, they that have sat in darkness have seen a great light. A great light. A great light. A great light. Daniel chapter 2 verse 19. There is a God that can show men mysteries. There is a God. We are going to contend for mysteries. We'll look at verse 19, 22 and 47. Long story, a king had a dream and forgot it and said, if you don't tell me what this dream is and the interpretation, I will kill you. Very simple. Hallelujah. The king had a dream and he forgot it. And he gathered all the soothsayers and wise men and said, I don't know what you will do. Go and invoke whatever you can invoke. But if you don't tell me this dream, I guarantee you, you will die. And the Bible says, Daniel asked for time. He said, give me time. Everybody say time. Hmm. You don't want revelation. God is not Mr. Biggs or Chicken Republic. You say, Lord, as I'm going, just let it come. I, I didn't have time to prepare. Now that I'm going for the meeting, let it just drop as I'm coming. Don't take the mercy of God for granted. It takes time. Daniel told the king, he said, I can tell you, but I need time. Because it's in the place of intimacy that you experience that rain. And he said, then was what? The secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. In the night, while men were snoring and sleeping, the rain came. And when it came, he said, Daniel, this is it. Sit down, you're about to watch a movie. And he saw Nebuchadnezzar sleeping. And he saw what happened. Verse 22. This was Daniel acknowledging God. He said he revealed what? The deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and, the, and light dwelleth with him. Brothers and sisters, may God show us the things that are hidden in darkness. That have been responsible for the stagnation of our lives and our families. As this rain falls, let, let it expose things. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, let's just leave verse 47. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10. The Bible makes us to understand that the Holy Spirit is able to access the mind of God. Have you read that scripture? That the Holy Spirit can reveal to us the things that are in the mind of God. Right? 
scripture makes us understand that no man knows the heart of a man save the spirit of that man and the spirit of God has access to the mind of God and is able to reveal it to us he said but God had revealed them to us how by his spirit that will manifest himself as the rain he said for the spirit searched all things yea the deep things may God grant unto us uncommon revelation in this year of the rain number what now number four when the rain falls one of the things that we experience is multiplied dimensions of spiritual power and the anointing multiplied dimensions of spiritual power Marco Pratalabakositaya when you plant a seed and bury it the moment the rain falls that seed begins to push above the earth against gravity and it comes out spiritual power a christianity that does not demonstrate the power of the holy spirit is child's play there is only one language that is understood in the realm of the spirit and is a language of power when Moses stood before Pharaoh, I was watching the, a, a, a lovely cartoon yesterday. I don't watch most of, uh, I don't have time self to even watch cartoons. But one caught my attention. Pharaoh, Moses in Egypt, and I mean, it was, it, was, it was well animated. I was so touched. Better than many of the things we have watched before. I mean, very, very, very nice and very graphic. When Moses got there, there was no room for long stories. The rods were speaking. This is the year by the grace of God where there will be a demonstration of the power of the Spirit. This is a place of power. There must be miracles upon miracles. Breakthrough upon breakthrough. We must, it must be evident that the rain is falling. If you believe that, say amen in the name of Jesus Christ. Resulting to an outbreak of miracles, signs, wonders, breakthroughs, healings. It's impossible to have the Holy Spirit reveal himself as the rain and will not have healings and miracles. And it will start this night. This night, not next week, this very night. Hallelujah. Some of you, you, you carry the atmosphere of this rain and step into places and you see the sick get healed. Look, we need to restore the church to the signs that characterize that God is at work and at alive in people. We trivialize the place of the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why we have a lot of arguments in the body of Christ. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. And by the grace of God, this place will become a habitation of not just His presence, but His power. Let the sick come and be healed. Let the oppressed come and be delivered. Not, not long stories. There are many things in our lives that do, doesn't require counseling. We need a head-on collision with the power of God. And it solves the problem once and for all. Some diseases will die a natural death when they meet the power of God. He said the yoke shall be destroyed, not by oratory. He said because of the anointing. When the rain falls upon us, there will be levels of when God was showing me little visions of things that will happen in the year and I saw some of the things I said my goodness oh Lord do these things let nothing restrict you look brothers and sisters you will see a demonstration of the power of the spirit this year that will shock you not just from here not just from my life from your own life from your own life your hands will do mighty things look at your hands and say this year you will do mighty things. Please, I want you to believe it. Look at your hands and say, this year, you carry an unusual unction and you will do mighty things. So we'll see multiplied dimensions of grace, multiplied dimensions of miracles, signs, wonders, manifestations of the power of the Holy Spirit. Next point, when the wind, when the, the rain of the spirit falls upon us. Now take note of what I'm about to share. 
it will bring unusual dimensions of wealth, prosperity, and abundance. For sure. Rain. Now, agriculturally speaking, rain is tied to abundance and fruitfulness. Is that true? And one of the things that the Lord spoke to me again and again, very notably, that will happen in the lives of people is an avalanche of prosperity. I know that many of us have heard these things again and again, but please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Prosperity. I believe in prosperity. Absolutely. Joel chapter 2, please. For time's sake, we'll just look at verse 24 and 26. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. It says, And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. It says, And ye shall eat in what? Plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God that are dealt wondrously with you and my people in terms of finances shall never be ashamed. Do you believe that? God is going to change the stories of people. Look, it will be, the Bible says, when the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion, for many of us, it will be like a dream. People will look at you without the assistance of any uncle or auntie. You will rise. It will be a mystery. God will use you to prove that the rain has fallen upon your land. Genesis chapter 2. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. 2 verse 5. Genesis chapter 2 from verse 5. Listen. It says, And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, it said, For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the ground. When you read the verse before it, it says how that there was no vegetation. Why? Because the rain had not come. When the rain falls, fruitfulness begins. Immediately. Immediately. There is a relationship between that dimension of the spirit and your prosperity. And I want you to believe it. I have prayed this into my own life. I have received it. I have believed it with all my heart. This year, I will not argue with the word of God. Leviticus chapter 26 from verse 4. Leviticus 26 from verse 4. I'm giving us this scripture. Let's hurry up and we'll pray. Leviticus chapter 26 from verse 4. It says, then I will give you rain. When? And this is the season. The Lord has spoken to us. He said, I will give you rain in due season. And what will be the result? And the land shall yield her increase. And the trees of the field shall yield her fruit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May that happen for somebody. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I have learned in my little life that the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. Hallelujah. Joseph slept in one night as a servant, as a slave, a property of Egypt. He woke up the next day as the man in command. That would be somebody's story. When the gentleman shared about his UK, um, you know, um, the blessings of the Lord, in my mind I said, that is a drop. We are talking of an ocean. An ocean of the, the avalanche of what God will do. Men will look at you and say, whose head did you cut? You will say, no. No. It's the rain. It's the rain. Do you believe this? Or has your suffering of the past blinded you and say it's like that, it came like that? Do you not believe that God is able to make a table in the wilderness? He said they limited God by saying, can God make a table in the wilderness? A table. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 14. Just look at that and then we'll touch on the remaining. I have to run. Deuteronomy chapter 11. Verse 14. I just want to give us scriptures. I want you to read if you believe. One to read, everyone. Yeah. 
What will be the result? It didn't say your neighbor's corn. There is, there is a, listen, there is an apportioning for you. Listen, this year is not the time you sit down and clap for others and say, you mean God did it for you? Hallelujah. You must insist. Please believe. If you've never believed God for anything, why don't you connect and believe this year? He said that thou mayest gather thy corn. And what? And what? Three things. Your corn, your wine, and your oil. When the rain falls, your corn, plenty, plenty, he will cause you to experience it. What else do we expect? Two more, right? Number six, supernatural restoration. When the rain falls, in Joel chapter 2, the coming, the outpouring, the rain and the spirit brought about the restoration. He said, and I will restore to you the years. Verse 25 of Joel chapter 2. And I will restore to you the years. I will restore to you opportunities. I don't care whether it was carelessness. I don't care whether it was arm robbery. I will restore. Everybody shout restore. We have come to enforce it. The Bible says they are taken for a prey and none say it restore. 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 He said turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev. For many families here that the devil has made it look like his Ichabod in this year. When the rain falls, you will see a tree that was dry. You almost want to use it for firewood. God will say, don't cut it. At the scent of water. At the scent. He said there is hope for a tree. Even if it be cut off. At the scent of water. I'm prophesying to someone here. It looks like you are in a, a state in your life. Some of us think we have messed it up. There is no way. There is no human way. But that's when God is needed. If it's still possible for you, God will be resting. But when it's impossible, he will arise. And I'm speaking to someone, the way God will change your story this year, it will shock you. God, one by one, God will restore everything to the latter. Even what you said, God, is not necessary. God will say, no, 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 I'm too committed. Restoration. Joy and peace. Restoration for the days of tears restoration, academic restoration, financial restoration, marital and relational restorations. Hmm. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. He said, though I fall, yet I will rise. While you are sitting down discussing that I died, Jesus died for only three days. While you are discussing, they say, no, he has risen. You are talking about a man who only died for 72 hours. Some of you, you have been subjects of discussion in your family. They looked at you and said, look at. Huh? It's better to even be an idol worshiper. You are mocking God. But this year, my father will arise. You will see God revisiting things that happened 10 years ago and say, I must prove a point. It's not necessary, but they have mocked my name in your life. Do you believe this? I believe it with all my heart. I believe it with all my heart. I believe it with all my heart. God is able to restore. I'd like you to say God is able to restore. And there is nothing you can't do. Oh Lord, my eyes are nothing you can do and there is absolutely nothing absolutely nothing oh lord see him wiping your tears 
in this year of the rain you can't cry forever That will be your song when God changes your story. Let men talk. Don't try to defend yourself. There is a defender, the God of your salvation. Oh Lord, oh Lord, be in my little life that you don't cry forever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Just let the rain fall. <laughs> when that rain falls, you will see restorations that you cannot account for. You can't even explain how it happened. Joseph, how did you become a prime minister? Honestly, I don't know. All I know is that I woke up that morning and by evening I was on a throne. Esther, how did a villager like you become the king's wife? I don't know. I didn't instigate Vashti to look for trouble. All I know is that the rain fell. See, when I say the last point, you will know what I'm saying. This year, there will be the falling of many and the rising of others. Trust me. Many who have made mouth and concluded on others, you will see God take people that you mocked and sat down and they will rule you. you <laughs> be careful as you speak over people because brothers and sisters, there are others who have even said, God take my life and God said, are you joking? Wait and see how I, I, I will write my name upon your life and any man that sees you will know that God is able to restore he says, son of man, can these bones live again? Can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. Only thou knowest. The rain will fall. And things will change. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The last thing that the coming of the rain will do. Is that the rain brings judgment upon people and territories who oppose God's agenda. Oh yes, there will be a rain. I told you that there will be the falling of many and the rising of many. Genesis chapter 7 verse 4. Genesis chapter 7 verse 4. Let's hurry up. After that, we'll look at chapter 19 verse 24. Genesis chapter 7 verse 4. It says... For yet seven days I will cause you to do what? To rain upon the earth. Forty days and forty nights. And every living substance that I have made I will destroy off from the face of the earth. So the rain does not just come to bless. There is a dimension of the rain that brings judgment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When it, when it was time to judge the world, it was water. Rain came and caused judgment. There are people who have sat down and believed that they hold the destinies of people in their hands. This year, they will receive of that rain for sure. For sure, that rain will come. Listen, two things happened when it began to rain in Noah's days. It was killing all the people who were laughing at Noah. I said, Noah, for how many years? Noah, we were young, oh. We were young. Those days when you were 70 years, you were a teenager. They say, well, we're teenagers. You were. Now, 120 years, you are still building an ark. Noah said, I know. 120 years ago, he told me rain will fall and it will still happen. And when it was time, God said, Noah, enter your ark. I will close the door by myself. When he closed the door, he said, rain, you are free to come. While the rain was killing others, it was lifting another man's ark. Same rain. Are you seeing that now? The rain was drowning noisemakers and those who have laughed at what God can do. 
but it lifted the ark of Noah and kept it on a mountain called Mount Ararat. Hallelujah. That rain. Many of you will hear this year that the evil doers that have refused, they, they are 95 years old, they say we won't die. We are sitting to see how you will get married when that rain falls. Are you hearing what I'm saying? See, there are men who have exchanged their life for others. Is that true? In this year of the rain, God will bring to justice. I tell you, it's, it's, there is no prayer of mercy. It's called a written judgment. It's a judgment that has been stamped and it must be executed. Hallelujah. The rain bringing judgment. Two scriptures, you can just write it quickly. Genesis chapter 19 from verse 24 and Exodus chapter 9 verse 23. Genesis 19, 24, Exodus 9, 23. You don't have to project it. But all of these things talk about rain. One time the Egyptians made noise against God. Rain came. Rain of hailstones, brimstones. It came and landed upon all of them. There will be rain this year. In this country, Nigeria, there will be rain. I saw it in visions. There are people you see bragging today. They will not see August this year. I'm telling, no, 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 no. It's, it's the truth. They will die, not just, they will die shameful deaths. God will sign upon their death that I did it. The same way terrorists take responsibility. They say we are the ones that remove that head. David removed the head of Goliath and lifted it up. I'm the one who did it. God will do certain things and leave his signature and say, I did it. Hallelujah. Before we quickly pray, what does it take to experience the rain? We've told us what will happen, what the rain brings. What does it take to experience the rain very quickly? Number one, genuine hunger for more of God. You want to experience the Holy Spirit as the rain this year. It's not just as a prophetic word. Isaiah 44 verse 3, very quickly. Genuine hunger for more of God. That rain will only flow to those who are hungry, those who are thirsty, those who are serious with God. He said, for I will pour water upon who? Him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground in that similitude i will pour out my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring you must be hungry you must be desirous for more of god you must be desirous that's what it takes you must have genuine hunger number two you must have a determination to see his kingdom come the rain does not just come for nothing. The purpose of the rain is for the harvest. The purpose of the rain is to introduce a new season. You must have a determination to see his kingdom come across lives, across territories. That means if the priorities of the kingdom are not an important thing, you don't need the rain. Why do you need the rain? If you do not have a determination to see his kingdom come. So you must be determined that this year, my partnership, koinonia, my partnership with God to see his kingdom come will be uncompromised. Number three, what does it take to experience the rain? Prayer. Say prayer. Heartfelt, continual prayer. Zechariah chapter 10, please, verse 1. Heartfelt prayers you want to see the rain you must pray it you pray down the rain Zechariah chapter 10 Zechariah 10 verse 1 we have it everybody read one two read stop. He said, do what? Ask. Ask. Don't wish. He said, the moment you sense the season has come, start asking. Ask ye of who? 
the Lord, the owner, the owner, ask him and say, Lord, this is the season. Let the rain come. He said, ask you of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. So shall the Lord make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. Listen, listen. We are going to ask because he said we should ask. This is the season of the rain. There's gonna be a great awakening. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening. And everyone who calls on Jesus, they Say, ask for the rain. Zaria is our territory, it's our jurisdiction. Hallelujah. We must pray and say, Lord, give us the keys of this city. Give it to us. In this season of the rain, we ask for the rain. Massive salvation, massive prosperity, massive signs and wonders. A demonstration of the spirit that will make us walk like gods upon this city. Hallelujah. More grace, fresh anointing upon the messages fresh anointing upon the people increase of all sorts numerically, spiritually all these things are the things that come with the rain testimonies and miracles for people that in this year the barren will take their children that in this year many people's situation will change these are the things that happen when the rain comes hallelujah James let's look at an example of one person who prayed and the rain came James chapter 5, please. Oh, I already feel the anointing of the Spirit. My goodness. James. James chapter 5. We'll read verse 16 and 18. There's no need reading verse 17. He said, confess your faults to one another and pray one for another that ye might be healed. Let's read the second clause. Are you ready? One to read. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availed much. And let's see an example. Verse 18. He said, and he prayed again. He had prayed and the heavens were shut and there was no rain. And when it was now time for the rain to come, what happened? He went back and the Bible says he prayed again. And the heaven gave rain. And as a result, the earth brought forth her fruit. So we are going to be praying. He said, ask ye rain. Ask ye rain. Whenever you see clouds forming, it tells you rain wants to come. That's why he began to pray and he told the servant, go and check. The servant said nothing. He said, I will still pray. But when he saw clouds forming, he said, that is it. That is it. Pray. And the heavens gave rain. Financial rain. Spiritual rain. All kinds of things. We are going to see the hand of God in a very mighty way. God is going to lift us and exalt us in ways that will honor him. God is going to make a spectacle out of us. And the goal of this first meeting tonight is to bring us into agreement. Because you must agree. That's the purpose of this little exhortation. To bring us to a point where you say, Lord, that is it. I, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it for my life. I refuse to argue. It's my season. Not koinonia season. It's my season of the rain. My season of, not a rain, the rain. I have exact expectations. We are going to be praying. And you are going to be telling the Lord, as far as it depends on me, I'm ready to play my own role. Just supply the grace. And I tell you, for many of you, January will not end. Because he said he will bring that rain in the first month. 
beginning from the first month, many of us will begin to see things happen. It's 16 days and, and it does not take time. When rain comes, it's an avalanche. It may take time to see the formation, but if the cloud be full of rain, except they are not full, he said they empty themselves upon the earth. Hallelujah. And so we trust God that he will reveal himself. There will be such an outpouring. Upon the campus, there will be outpourings of the spirit. Outpourings everywhere. That from this place, like, 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 like infernos of fire, it will shoot to territories. One of my, one of my goals this year is that all of the external ministrations that God will grant me grace, I want to take this rain to those territories. Hallelujah. My focus this year is to take this rain to territories. There are people that must catch this rain. Hallelujah. I will be a dispenser of this rain. A dispenser of this rain. That you step into a place and you cause bright clouds to be open. And rain, rain just comes upon people. Unlimited breakthroughs. I told God, I said, I'm, I'm more than ready. I am I'm more committed to this work like never before. We're having our retreats tomorrow. The leaders and the workers in the house. And part of the many things we're going to be discussing is how to refire ourselves. To position ourselves first to receive of this rain and to be dispensers of this rain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so the Lord is going to grant us grace. We are going to do three things very quickly before we conclude this service. Number one is we are going to pray. And I want everybody to participate inside and outside. I know that there are some of you, there's no space all around. Don't worry. Find a corner and pray. This is about your life. We are going to be praying. All of the seven expectations become your expectations for the year. We will pray it. And we will pray for grace. That dimension of the spirit to be able to play our own part. Hallelujah. And after that, I believe that God is going to release upon us the supply of his spirit to ignite this grace. It's an anointing service. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and lift your voice and begin to thank the Lord for this word. Give him thanks. Give him thanks everywhere, inside and outside. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for your prophetic word. It's my season of the rain and outpouring of the dimension of the spirit upon my life. I thank you. Hallelujah. your voice and pray lord i receive it i receive it it's not just a word for koinonia i receive it Lord, we receive it. Lord, we receive it. Shake it, 
Hallelujah. Pick up your notebooks. Prayer point number two. We are going to pray all those seven expectations. If you can help us, media, fine. If it's down, no problem. Hallelujah. Those seven expectations from massive salvation of souls, one by one, salvation of, of souls, increased love and hunger for God, access to mysteries, multiplied spiritual power, dimensions of wealth, restoration, judgment. One by one, you're going to personalize it for yourself, for your family. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Please take it seriously. Lord, a harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. Let the rain bring perfect salvation. Let the rain bring transformation. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we travel around the regions of this nation, as we travel even beyond the borders of this nation, thank you, salvation, the rain, the rain of your spirit, bringing salvation, the rain of your spirit, bringing salvation, the rain of your spirit. Yes, 
son of the power the demonstration of the life and the glory of God. Greater unction in the name of Jesus. 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 Lord, we pray for a new dimension of financial prosperity, a new dimension of wealth and abundance upon my life, upon your house, upon Koinonia. We step into fresh levels. We tap into the mystery of divine supplies. In the name of Jesus, I pray for every family. I pray for every Koinonia member. They are stepping into abundance. 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 Lord, you will restore. You will restore. Restore destinies. Restore opportunities. Restore anointing. Restore mantles. Restore visions. Restore dreams. Restore graces. Let there be restoration. Don't be tired, pray. So take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Lord, we demand a restoration of all the years that the Kanka worm has eaten, the Palma worm. We command a reversal of opportunities that have been lost. We declare judgment, judgment, the rain will bring judgment upon evil doers, judgment upon wicked men, judgment. Hallelujah. The seventh thing we say that will happen is that God will bring judgment. Hear me. There are men who have tied down the counsel of God over families. There are powers, there are forces that tie down the destinies of men. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Still on that point. The Lord as the rain falls, these powers, these forces, we command judgment. They must crumble because I must rise this year. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Pray like a believer. Oh yes, the forces of darkness, ancestral forces, covenant, yokes of bondage. Jesus paid the price already. Jesus paid the price in full. Jesus paid the price already. Jesus paid the price in full. Therefore, we lose him back on account of the substitutionary sacrifice. Hallelujah. 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 Now before we cry for a supply of grace as we start the year, I'd like you to mention one thing that you know you need this rain to do in your life. Hallelujah. 
There are many things and we have prayed about some of them. But peradventure there are expectations that many of us have. I'd like you to lift your voice and say, Lord, I make a demand. This is the season of the rain. This and that must happen in my life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray. Outside, make sure you are praying. Everywhere outside, make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There was a season in my family people were dying like chickens look let me tell you something my grandfather for some of you who are around the north my grandfather they were the trustees and the founders of church of christ in nigeria i come from a, a lineage of missionaries but it did not solve the problem in my family are you getting my point all the first bonds i saw the i saw the pattern they became useless people. Either they got a lady pregnant out of wedlock or something happened that scattered their lives and reduced them into it. I, my father's elder brother died at a particular age range. My father's younger brother died at that same time. Just thank God that by the time my father was getting around that range, we had gotten the revelation. Look, let me tell you. Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche said, this world is not a playground, it's a battlefield. If you don't adjust your mind fast, you will be in for a rude shock. Are you getting what I'm saying? I remember some years ago, someone got married. Hallelujah. And we went for the wedding in Kaduna. I'll never forget this. Quite, quite some years ago. And when we went for the wedding, they had a step, they had a stepmother. True story. True story. There was a stepmother and we noticed that people were dancing and dropping gifts. Please listen. People were dropping all kinds of gifts. And when they had finished, you know, they were about to pack the gifts. We noticed that the guy's stepmother just came. A small gift that looked like a, a small bucket. You know, this bucket you put flour or sugar inside. And just wrapped it and dropped it. And when I looked at it, another brother too saw it. I said, Kai, because we were going to pray for the wedding gifts. And I insisted that we open this thing and see what is inside. When we opened it, what did we see? A white bucket. They just put a stone inside and closed it. God is my witness. Welcome to planet Earth where all kinds of people are permitted to live. Those who love God, those who hate God, and those who hate you. And if you don't do anything about it, they will take you to the grave. Hallelujah. Many families, let me tell you, are suffering this. Mysterious sicknesses and diseases that they cannot explain. Just comes upon a man and a family. There are some of us here. You just went to the hospital for tests and they told you you have HIV. You have left, you, you lived a pure life. Hallelujah. Something has happened in the realm of the spirit. I remember somebody, I think it was here. He's on video. That he slept quietly. And in the night, somebody appeared to him with a syringe and said, this is HIV virus. 
injected it into him and he woke up physically with HIV. I'm not scaring you. I'm letting you know that if you are not aware that this devil is not your friend. Are you getting what I'm saying? Somebody suffers in school. You now finish school. You go and serve. You graduated with first class or two one five years down the line. There's no decent job. No decent job. You want a job. The manager is saying you know what to do. And now you want to keep your Christian integrity. But you don't know how to command the forces of darkness to bow. You now announce in your family that God is calling me to be a pastor. From that day, your whole life is tied into pieces. Everything you do does not work. Brothers and sisters, I don't celebrate Satan and evil, but I'm letting you know there is evil in this world right now. But there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power it's in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. It's to break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. I shared with us the testimony. Brothers and sisters, if not that I saw this woman, I would think it's a lie. I've heard about it, but I, I, was to, I was to experience it for myself. A woman who gave birth to a dead baby that came out half man, half monkey. Half man, half monkey with hair. If not that I was sitting face to face with this woman, if I had another man of God say it, I may join those saying this is a lie, some exaggeration, just to make the message look powerful. I've seen all kinds of evil. But in the name that is above all names, there is an authority that must command the forces to bow. See, this is what happens to people. And you find out that one breakthrough will just open every area of your life. Are you seeing? Many of us are struggling. You are trying to fight your health. You are trying to fight this, whereas there is a root problem. If that problem is not dealt with, you may be healed, but it will appear as something else. I hope you know that every believer is likened to a tree. How do you make a tree healthy? Do you clean the leaves? You add fertilizer at the root. How do you destroy a tree? You deal with the root. The Bible says the righteous is like a palm tree. Is that true? This is the mystery of total breakthrough. You must see every man like a tree. You waste your time trying to remove the leaves at once. When you address the problem, it's like somebody who is complaining of headache, but the real issue is typhoid fever. You can take Panadol again and again. You will receive temporary relief. But tonight, some things will be totally settled in the name of Jesus Christ. You will find out one area of your life and then marriage opens up. Then job opens up. Then your academic opens up. And that's when you say, goodness. So this is it. A dear lady of ours, even while I was in Abuja last week, I, I met with her. This lady had worked for four years. Very hardworking lady. She was here, I remember that time. It's on video also. One fair lady that came from Abuja and I prayed for her. This lady, for four years, she had been working. No promotion, no benefits, no nothing. Every area of her life was grounded. I prayed for this lady and she went back to Abuja and her boss looked at her. He said, come, you've been working in this place. What has been done for you? Right now, this lady follows the boss and travels with him everywhere. When her friends heard about it, they say it's because you are fine. She says, have I not been here four years with the same pretty face? Nothing changes by itself till you force it to change. It will change one day is a dream. If you force it, it will change. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many of us, you are standing outside. Students, you are, you are suffering. Things are not working. People think you are dull, but you are not dull. You enter the exam hall, you blank out. And then you will do tutorials and be helping others. When they are marking scripts, your script gets missing. The wickedness. The Bible says, while men slept, 
an enemy came and planted tears in the wheat and ran away there are all kinds of people lumps fibroids barrenness cysts all kinds of nonsense all around until you know the might of God you will keep getting afraid of Satan but when you know who God is you will know once and for all that this devil he was created and that he can submit to the authority of his creator who am I speaking to tonight is your season for real change you can see you can sit down and watch others there are many of our sisters here as you're sitting down right now it's not like you are not pretty it's not like you are not virtuous. You have done everything. You have read every book. You've knelt down for every man to greet them. But no marriage. Something is wrong. It even becomes a terrible situation when it's the man that doesn't have a wife to marry. And this is it's easy to understand for the ladies because they position themselves to be found. What of the man? Hallelujah. But the Lord prepared this apostolic and prophetic platform to end these assaults of darkness in our lives. Listen, many of us are the only saviors of our parents right now and our families. You know we believe in family in this place, right? Your salvation is not complete until the members. He said, as for me and my house. Hallelujah every one of us standing here came from a family and let me tell you no matter how blessed you are if your family is not changed for many years my father was grounded at his place of work his juniors were being promoted everything was working for others except him this man was almost dying of high blood pressure and one day i got angry and we had to settle the issue Tonight, God will settle some family. So, please take what I'm saying seriously. I'm speaking like this because shortly we are going to pray. Hallelujah. There are some of you, anytime somebody wants to bless you, something will happen to that person and just scatter him. Somebody says, I want to bless your family. Everything becomes grounded. There are some of us who are in ministry. You have done everything you know. Groundbreaking. Prophetic match round everything nothing is growing but jesus christ brought us here tonight so that we can experience his victory hallelujah and in a few minutes we have to pray before i begin to minister brothers and sisters i want you to pray and say father visit me i didn't just come to watch others and clap hallelujah the power of god is present to heal no matter what the sickness is no matter what the sickness is believe is it cancer is it hiv is it fibroid is it genotype issue no matter what it is you are stranded in whatever area of your life please position yourself because god is about to do mighty things right now no matter how far you are inside or outside talk to the lord don't be joking this is about your destiny this is your chance for exchange of story say lord i'm tired i'm tired of clapping for others lord visit me i want to make progress in my life but there are forces that tie me down lord is the season where you will increase my greatness i'm tired of this terminal disease tired of this cancer they've told me i have days to live i'm tired of walking on a wheelchair i'm tired of this blindness tired of this deafness tired of this sickle cell anemia jesus you died and already paid the price you paid the price already oh yes jesus paid the price with his blood he paid the price already it was paid in full he paid the price for that cancer to live he paid the price 
for that HIV to dry up. He paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful. He paid the price. He paid the price. Go ahead and pray and say, Jesus, you have paid the price. Jesus, you have paid the price for the deliverance of my family. We are tired of this hardship. It's not your will for us to continue in this hardship. And Lord, like Jacob, we hold on to you tonight. We will not let you go till you change our story. Come on, pray, Koinonia. We will not let you go. Those outside, are you praying? Lord, change my story academically. I'm tired of writing jam again and again and again and again and again. Change my story. Change my story. You already paid the price. You already paid the price. Oh, hallelujah. He has paid the price. Hallelujah. He paid it with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the price. The price. The devil must let you go. The blood has been shed already. Jesus said it is finished. That cancer is finished. HIV is finished. The devil may not want to let you go. But you will enforce the word. The Bible says how forcible are right words. How forcible are right words. How forcible. Rise up on your feet everybody. And begin to blast in tongues. And say my time has come. My time has come. Oh God my time has come. Tonight you will visit me as your blessing man. Let your eyes see me, oh God, as your changing stories. Visit me, visit me, visit me, visit me, visit me, oh God. That epilepsy must die tonight. That yoke of financial hardship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I believe. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The power of God is in this place. I believe. Lord, I believe. Listen. Listen. Listen, let me tell you something. Hallelujah. The man who laid down at Bethesda, he'd been like that for 38 years. There is a way a situation has been so long in your life. Even when they are telling you God will change it, you say, Lord, change the rest. Tonight, do not leave any stone unturned. Are you getting my point? Whatever it is you're trusting God for. Many of us left different states. Many of us left different local governments. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, for this and that and that area of my life. He must give way to Yes, Lord, it must give way tonight. It must give way. The power of God is already moving across this place. Goodness. Oh, she Bakataria Katanda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Powers that hold your hands 
and tie your destiny must let you go hallelujah I see miracle everywhere miracle everywhere I see miracles everywhere right now right miracles we see miracles Lord, we see miracles right now. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The, the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The root. The root of the issue. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power. You can't stand it. No. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of your son, there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we shout that name, let there be such a move my god my god lift your hands at the count of three i like you to shout the name jesus as you shout that name devils will leave right now one two three the power of god right now i command forces forces of darkness yokes yokes of darkness yokes bring them out the fire of god is falling i challenge altars outside the power of god is falling outside Lift your hands. The devil must let you go tonight. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see a number of people inside and outside. And I see chains all over you. Chains. As you shout this name. It's already happening to people right now. As I speak. As I shout that name Jesus. When you shout it. Many of you will hear sounds. Of physical chains dropping. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One. Two, three, Jesus! I give the chains. Those outside, lift your head. Just those outside. Those outside, lift your head. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. Lift your hands. 
those outside you're going to shout jesus there will be such a move of fire physical fire outside are you ready now those outside one two three Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay. Across this row. Go, 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 Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel, 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 please let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside, that guy is outside. You are wearing something like green, greenish, like flowery something green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, your, your time your time has come please stand up stand up let's save time I give the chains the chains falling she take a papa tapa tapa then great tapa take a little shot papa talaba let her go now you are a devil of darkness release her family now Release our family now. Release our family now. I the chains. Hallelujah. Look at me. My brother, I need to pray for you. There's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial. Nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried. You have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight, God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! brother in the name of jesus christ i prophesy to you look at me things will so change and turn around in your life you will be surprised you believe this
Father, let it be done in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing military uniform. Who is a soldier? Who is a soldier around you? I'm seeing his. I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah. Well, I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone. I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the course. This, this is, I'm saying this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I've not seen a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens... Break every chain. Break every chain. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Change his story. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is. But as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please. Because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free. Jesus. Let her be free in the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story so God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we have to every cause of marital delay. Leave God people now. 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 Every cause. Bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit stopping marriages by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit stopping marriages. Go protect them. Outside. 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 Outside.
Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now every spirit husband every spirit wife every devil every demon go go by the fire of the Holy Ghost every act of witchcraft that has tied family we release you right now Hallelujah. Goodness. God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I curse that spirit. Go, go out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please, hurry up. Who is that person? Well, if it's if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains. The chains Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. That power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus look at me your family is not even you now you are a worker in this house and as a worker you are entitled to certain blessings huh? 
your family there is a cause of hardship upon your family your entire family hold my hands you must be free right now let her go representing her family in the name of jesus i plead the blood what is this that i see in the spirit you must let her go because she's a faithful worker in this house in the name of jesus out of her in the name of jesus christ i release your family i release your family i release your family in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me the vision of a tree and i'm seeing it tied with ropes tied with ropes this is what i'm seeing in the spirit is tied and this is like the destiny of this family and they've done everything to tie it but i release it right now i release it by the spirit in the name of the lord jesus and i prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now 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 every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft go be released now hallelujah 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 I tell you the breakthroughs that are happening many of you will leave this place you will be surprised just believe me there is somebody outside two people in fact the fire of God will rush upon them right now in a mighty and strange way they will never be able to contain it outside when that happens let me have those people if two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit you can't stand it you will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire like wild fire it will come upon you please let me have the ladies like wild fire it will turn you you will be running it will happen to you you will be running around you will be running around there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady you are seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure treasure or something precious who is that like treasure or don't tell lies here oh please you are the one what is what's your name no no salome just wait here you are the one salome the the meaning of your name i'm going to pray for you salome where's your mother She's at home where? We need to pray. God wants to give your family breakthrough. Wow. 
Out of her now. Out of her. Out. Out right now. Out. Out of her. Out. Bring them. She parata barrigate bragade boxa. Niba so paria tabaria dos de keparakata. Ibra tosa palia tabaco seca de bragadia. Preteste parata baco seca de leva. Sipana baco. I set your family free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now be free. Now be free. Now be free. Out! Out! Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue. And say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood of God. We plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles. Now, you know, we are bounded by time. If we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please. We don't fake miracles in this place. We don't, we believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting, no nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick you came with someone sick or you are sick now is your time to walk up to the front come and stand and trust jesus for a miracle and make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request hallelujah please if it's someone that cannot stand maybe if there's a way protocol can help the people and then maybe we can have a chair or something whatever it is Jesus Christ. Those of you standing, lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people. Please pray. Please pray. His presence is here to heal. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. 
those of you coming out please begin to pray and say lord my time has come i know you have all kinds of medical reports forget about them right now hiv cases cancer cases whatever it is genotype don't worry jesus is lord in this place Lord, we thank you. His presence Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, start writing it. He, his presence is here. His presence is here to heal. His presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same from headache to infection no matter how little oh hallelujah Jehovah Rapha there is a God that heals in the house one more time one more time Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. To heal, to heal. Oh, I am Lord. The healing deal. His presence is here to heal. Son of man, can these bones live again? Hallelujah. I want you to know, whatever the situation is, there is a God. We are not against doctors. We have doctors here as workers. But let me tell you, it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best. When you have done your best, leave it all to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jake is deeply in the spirit, so just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate. And let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. yourself God is healing people come and see in the presence of Lord be healed hold on be please healed. hold on hallelujah daddy don't cry what's wrong with you sir I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years 30 years brothers and sisters 30 years arthritis Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having. It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. 
I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm if I want to, if I want to, uh, is yourself, is it myself? The thing will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. Exactly. Having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too. You are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me what no man can do. Jehovah, Jehovah, you've done, you've done for, for me, me. what no one else will do. There is a name that is greater than any ancestry. You will be the first to be healed. Come, hold my hand. Pile, go now. You are a devil of darkness. I curse you out from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Daddy. I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. At this 30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to me 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son hey, hey. look at look at this Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at, look at, look at this, look at this. Hallelujah. Ah. Come on now, hold on, hold on. How many of you saw this man when he was coming? Are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no penny. Completely. Hey. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise. 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 The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Dance to the shame of the devil. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. In the name that is above all names. I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. He's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. I cannot stand up by myself like that. Before. Alright. Sit down. Try it again. Sit down. Try it again. You know he couldn't stand up. But help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. When God. Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. and a wicked person. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. That I can no longer conceive. You can no longer conceive. Why? one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed. The other one is not healthy. Ah! Son of man, can this bones be bigger? Hallelujah! I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. I wish she were here, she would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister. Sadia's sister, she's not here. That is she around? Come, come, come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. This kind God, oh, I never see in kind, no. This kind God, oh, bless the me. Hallelujah. Name. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake a headache, can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you when they gave birth to this baby this baby was looking like an angel they were snapping the baby right hallelujah father every woman in this place every family trusting God for a miracle child in the name that is above all names 
you did it for this family do it again do it again oh god do it again oh god hallelujah madam you'll be free right now look at me i don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working is irrelevant all i know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs where it will come that is not my responsibility are you getting my point now the child is saying amen. something will leave you now this is this is demonic let this woman go now i command that you get pregnant give birth to miracle children we create new wombs right now in the name of jesus christ it is done you will return with your miracle children i will attend to everybody now will be very very fast so that we can save time worship team please My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Hold on. Let her talk. Ya ro na ya je Israel. Ya je Israel zin. She she na aiki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission Abuja. So say so that if you ya leading ya in south south. Say ya e do guda hudu sun je sun duke shi. So ka chire shi daga fourth floor. Sun yet the shakasa. Suka karba kudia wajen shi. Tun di zeba fourteen. Yena pama a Israel. Shine asa na che. Am I naik yenzu? Har yenzu? Am I yenzu? Loka chinde ya fadi. Anche baza yu bunga na ba. Baza yu rubu tuba. Baza yu te fia ba. Wogasi ya che tu. Achi gaba de trutin di shi. Yai adua Allah ya gya mechi. Za yu te fia. Za yu munga na. Za yu rubu tu. Na yeso yenzunge na rubutu yena magana amakofa di le bifara tefia ba. Father, in the name of your Son Jesus Christ, all the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost, kabala toza tabaranda kalibata zidelem brashko brande kalabati la kabraste brandi satabala mande ke braske la tosko bari kalaba. In the name of Jesus. What's his name? Bege Poche Chet. Bege, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that death bed now. Your hands will write. Your eyes will see. Your feet will walk. Every broken bone. We mend it now. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, you will return with a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. Now get you on buyer. Hold on. Buying in Amiki Zafi sometimes go. Your back. Come and get the kafa. Hurry and as well. Add the kafa. They call it sending kashiabi. In Alsa. That's what? Rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. Alsa, Baju, anyone. English, I hear Baju. Everyone. What's that, your son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. That's what? That's baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But here when you walk in Kadunaba. Hold on now. Then Kadunaba could you walk and get in Cuba? You don't 
don't know what they are saying. Just be just be Hallelujah. Mommy, be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus, I cause that pain right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk, man. Walk. 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 Look at this. Walk. Look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at, look at rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent, completely permanent. In Jesus' name, and your son is healed and he will return. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome. He can move mountain. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broke. Strength where
Usher, start collecting the prayer requests very quickly. Start collecting the prayer requests very quickly.
and perfecting this man. Hallelujah. He came here with all kinds of pain. But in the name of Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I cause evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles. In the name of Jesus Christ, be made whole. In Jesus' name. Kubash, you will not fall. They are supporting you. Please don't be afraid. Just follow me. Come. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Now come. Come. Just come. Just come. 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 Come, look at this. Come on now. Koinonia, celebrate Jesus. He's walking by himself. Don't worry, you will not fall. They are supporting you. Just come. Just come. Leave them that way. Walk by yourself. Come. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come on, Koinonia. He's walking by himself. Exercising the leg.
everything's changed And nothing is the same Everything has changed oh, for me, yeah. Every 
every chain is breaking, breaking. breaking. whatever it is, breaking. wherever it is, breaking. it's breaking, yeah. it's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking, and it's falling, it's falling, it's bowing, bowing. Hallelujah. I know we're out of time. Please turn the prayer request. If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us, um, through the internet they can just connect by faith hallelujah pastor jakes will lead us to this session praise the lord if you can rise please rise this is a very prophetic moment look at me hold on we're not just doing this foolishly this is an instruction god gave us hallelujah we've had unspeakable testimonies i believe almost everybody this is summary of your prayer request we may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray as Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, pray in tongues. Rata pa Lord, your grace, 
I see the angels of God come like flash of light real fast bringing answers to prayers for some of us we will receive calls even tonight answers 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 to prayers ah just like Ezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord and right before the prophet left the temple answers came the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the Lord brings healing aha thank you blessed Lord Bacos y perioto, shimile gambron, siki parodo, sile branda, carabadose. There's a particular case of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, our Father, God, you are greater than our challenges. You are bigger than every problem we have. We ask you, blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus. Let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood, speak in the name of Jesus. We cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus. We command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here. But this is very prophetic. For me, I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting. Where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation. Because of our time, please, there are people here. You've not given your life to Jesus. You've seen the works of the kingdom. And tonight, you're saying, Jesus... I want to make it right with you. Wherever you are, please, as I pray, I want you to march forward. You'll be the first I'm going to be praying for. There are people here right now, others, you've given your life to Christ, but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom. And you're saying, Lord, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Don't be ashamed. Don't wait for everybody. Everyone has joined the kingdom. You are the only one left. I'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now. Celebrate them. God bless you as you come. People are coming. God bless you. Don't be afraid. God bless you. I know there are many people outside. There are many people inside. Don't wait for anyone. This is a decision. This is your salvation. This is very important. Forget about your friend. Forget about who you came with. Quickly, quickly. Please save time. We'll just count one, two, three. One. Those outside, double up. Don't be ashamed. You don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you. Please find your way around to Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed. This is a decision to begin to walk with God. Don't be emotional about it. This is a sincere decision. It can decide your eternity after now. Don't sit back. There are people still sitting back. The Holy Ghost is telling you to get up and come. The Bible says if you hear his voice in that day, harden not your heart. God bless you. God bless you. There are more people coming from outside. Please celebrate them very quickly. Find your way to the front. hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them god bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah
People are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call. But please, we mean business. This is very, very serious. God bless you, our sister. Just join us very quickly. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood for me. Tonight, I make you my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. From today, I declare that I begin to make progress in my life. I submit to the authority of Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep the hands lifted up. Father, thank you. These hands are lifted unto you. They will never be put down in the name of Jesus. Let their salvation experience be genuine and let it last. Thank you for this decision they are making today. The powers of darkness that take them back into sin and the way of death, we command that they are set free from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Do wonders in their lives. Make mighty men and women out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. We celebrate you. We love you. We honor you. Thank you for making this great decision. Now, I'd like you to follow the ushers, the people with blue and black. Hallelujah. Follow the gentleman. This side, just follow them. They will have your details and then we'll communicate to you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you so much. Everybody lift your hands. Please rise. Rise as we pray. Praise the Lord. By the way, let me celebrate Pastor Pete Rock's wife. She's, she's been hiding. Hallelujah. If you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow, clap. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I'd like you to shout amen as we pray. He said, son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. And he said, prophesy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Right now in the name that is above all names, I pray. Every door that has been closed over anyone's life. Kapoto paretata. Every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now. Be open now. Be open now. I command breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. Every closed door over your destiny. Be open now. Every terminal disease in your body, I command that it comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Esther found favor before the king. And the king said, what shall I do to you? Even up to half of my kingdom. I pray in the name that is above all names. May an anointing for favor. A real anointing with proofs. May it come upon your life now. Receive favor now. Favor with God. Favor with man. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. And the king, whoever needs to send for you, who, whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life, I call them into your life now. I call them into your life now. In the name of the son of the living God. Destiny help us share the word of the Lord. I command divine connections in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, And thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. 
let me tell you the truth the lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity therefore i prophesy that anointing for breaking limits i prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of jesus christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness huh the bible says the vine dresser passed and saw them idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he told them go to the vine there is always work when god speaks he saw them idle. he said why sittest without there are many people here trusting god for jobs right now in the name that is above all names between now and next miracle service receive your miracle job i prophesy it i release it for you and for your family members receive it now receive it now receive it now there are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace the bible says listen the bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south god can take a man from a dunk hill and place him above even if you are not working you can stand for your loved ones man i pray as surely as the god of heaven lives whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered we release it now we release it now we release it now we release it now hallelujah and elijah told his servant he said check and he came back he said there is nothing he said go and check again and he said i saw a cloud like the feast of a man i pray in the name that is above all names let there be the sound of abundance i provoke abundance right now i provoke abundance in the name of jesus the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand shall complete it whatever you and your family members have started i don't care what the project is whatever resource is required receive the finisher's anointing receive the finisher's anointing in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone trusting god for a godly relationship and marriage my bible tells me male and female he created them he didn't say male and male he says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate i declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the god of heaven lives right now i release you i command your exodus now i command your exodus right now for those trusting god for resources you want to marry but you are tied down financially and the lord told elijah go to the brook cherith there a raven will come and feed you we provoke the mystery of divine supply he said you shall not see the wind you shall not see rain but the valley shall be filled with water i command supply right now by the favor of the lord god of israel let there be supplies hallelujah i pray for you the bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country he said whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed lift up those hands in the name of jesus from today whatever you do with these hands may they be blessed may they produce remarkable results 
Hallelujah. And he said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. When Balak told Balaam to curse Israel, he said, I have been commanded to bless. This I have done and it cannot be reversed. I declare, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may your hands be blessed. Yeah. Scripture said they are taken for a prey and none said restore. There must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names. I command restoration of all the years the canker worm has eaten and the palma worm. Let there be restoration now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side. None shall harm you. Only with you, your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked. You see bomb blasts everywhere. There's nowhere that looks safe again. The only place of safety is the name of the Lord. For the Bible says it is a tower. A strong tower. I declare anyone marked for death here or any family marked for death either by witchcraft, bomb blast, assassins, or any kind of political wickedness. The blood of Jesus separates you from the spirit of death. You shall not die. You shall not die. Not by accident. Not by bomb blast. Not by terrorism. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, as for me and my house, I prayed for you, now I pray for your house. In the name that is above all names, whatever has mocked the God of Israel in your house, we change that report right now. Whatever has mocked the God of Israel, Sarah said, those who laugh at me have now laughed with me. I declare, we change the story of your family. And his mother named him Jabez because she said I bore him in sorrow and Jabez prayed and said oh that thou wouldest bless me any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today we change that name right now thank you Jesus I pray for you right now lift your hands let the empowerment of the holy ghost please lift your hands just i just have one minute there will be impartations right now the anointing of the spirit all kinds of gifts of the spirit take it now take it now take it now take it now take it receive it prophetic anointings apostolic anointings healing anointing take it take it take it everywhere inside and outside entrepreneurship anointings receive it business ideas receive it let the spirit of excellence come upon you right now every dead prayer life in this place i command it to come back alive every dead word life i command it to come back alive now go and heal the sick go and cast out devils i call you an ambassador with the equipping of heaven go and represent the value system of heaven go and be a light change people's situations speak over their lives hallelujah give jesus praise hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words 
in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you